What's happening with y'all back again with another video? No, it's been a minute, but hey, we back and we better. So, yeah, this video is just showing the upper body I did. Um, focusing more on my arms now. So, as you can see, I'm doing more weight on my curls, uh, my triceps. Of course, I'm going to do my chest, but since it's my second day doing it, I got to focus more, a little more on the weight on the, uh, the arms. Because when I did my chest the first time, it was a little more focused on the chest doing the bench press and the dumbbells but yeah this time it's like i'm gonna start off with the arms and just get active there um update on my leg it's really like stronger could do i'm gonna say it's at like 70 percent right now it's not fully at 100 so i'm still working on it still figuring out what exercises that I need to do, even though I know what I, which ones I need to do, but like other ones just to make it stronger and just make sure the process is good. But right now, as you can see, we just got regular curls, barbell curls, and then we got the skull crushers for it. And yeah, man, you know, it's always good getting back in this groove, up in this weight. Just got to stay on it. All right, now we're moving back to the chest and we're doing a incline chest press. You feel me? I uh, got to get that upper chest going, man. That's mandatory. Uh, I need to start doing decline more. That's one of the ones that I, I don't usually do. I don't know why, but I need to just get on that. But yeah, I'm probably going to superset with the pushups. You know, you always got to add them pushups in there, man. The calisthenics to so your arms don't get spaghetti. But yeah. You're probably wondering too, I don't know if you can really see, he's like, why is this dude got a ski mask on? It's because I'm with the activities, that's why. It's a danger zone in here, we want problems in there, we want all the smoke. <laughs> nah, I uh, did my warm up on the bike ride, so, and it's over here in the uh, El Grove Sack area. I mean, it's been cold for us at least, so, when I go on my bike rides, I don't want that wind and that cold, uh, the cold smacking me in the face because that ain't it i'd be moving on my bike too because you know i gotta get my leg right but yeah that's why the ski mask is on i don't feel like taking it off you know keeping me warm keeping me feel making me feel like i'm activated and i'm ready to go but yeah um for the incline uh i do the reason why i do the iron weights because they're a little bit more heavier than just the regular dumbbells so what i do is i just put like a the tens and the fives on there with the clip just so i can feel that iron it's like kind of old school in a way so that's why like when i be saying i'm in the pen i'm in alcatraz i'm in san quentin i'm in mill creek i really get yeah, man you feel me it's like they, these iron weights ain't no joke but <laughs> besides joking around i do notice a difference between that and then going to the gym and doing it i feel like the gym weights are more like cement and the, these are just straight iron because we've been having these weights for a minute. But yeah, they do their justice. Alright, now we're moving on to the hammers. Hammer curls, you know. Uh, these are the iron dumbbells too. But they're not the ones with the clips as you can see. Uh, pretty good weight, you know. Just just taking my time on it. Not trying to rush it. Uh, really focusing, like I said before, more on my arms and triceps. So you see me touch it right there. It's like, yeah, that's a little pump. And then right here, these are little tricep extensions. I don't really know the name of it, but I'm using the bar and I'm just like pushing it down and then flexing my triceps. Uh, these do, these are efficient, in my opinion. It's kind of like when you do the cables in the gym with the rope and then you just 
flex down it's like the same thing like those are very efficient i see the form i see the pump i highly recommend those for it and then for the um for the curls i'm doing one two then together you know like i said gotta get them curls in gotta get the reps in so it's just a good good mixture of everything um overall with the upper body like i've been doing it since i got hurt just an update on that like I, I have been trying to maintain my strength in that but the main focus is getting cut and getting more ripped so i'm not really going super heavy right now eventually i will but i'm just focused on getting toned up baby because it's only right but yeah that's just what we're doing right now for it though All right, moving to the next exercise, we're getting our chest. I don't know if I said it before, but if I did, I'm saying it again. This is one of my favorite ones, the outs and togethers, the out ends and together. So I'm just doing the, the fly, then the close grip to get the triceps going, and then just a regular uh, dumbbell press. This is one of my favorite because it's three motions into one. So it's like you're getting everything. Like it's complex, super set, the whole nine. These really be getting you right. You just got to choose the right weight, though. You're not supposed to be going heavy because each movement, <laughs> there's a different weight for each one. And I learned that the hard way. Uh, I'm over here thinking I'm Superman sometimes, but I just got to just drop the weight. And of course, push ups. Tell you the push ups are mandatory, man. You really got to get your push ups and get your 100 a day, your 80, 50. Yeah, just, just wake up. As soon as you wake up, just get them push ups, man. It's real simple and easy. But yeah, no, I just love this one just for so many movements and one thing. And it's like, it, it really has you push too. And the crazy thing is, too, it's not even crazy, is that you don't even have to do a whole lot of weight because you're going to feel it, feel it, feel it. I can't even talk right now. You're going to feel, uh, it regardless of what weight you do so that's why it's, it's good to do so i highly recommend these yeah so whenever you back in the gym try it out and then let me know how you feel after <laughs> sting team for show
all right grand finale you already know what i got the wheel of fortunes again with the ski mask as you can see uh but yep we're just finishing off with the uh the rollers you know gotta make sure my abs is on point i know it's mainly diet but you know you still gotta make sure the core is strong and making everything else easier but yeah uh getting close to the end of the video i got more e workouts more exercises more stuff you're gonna see i know i like it's been almost two weeks since I recorded just from the holidays and that like it's been real hard for me to record but I try not to make no excuses so we're gonna get right with it uh still healing still processing everything so like you're not not gonna get rid of me that fast but you're gonna see the progression with these legs of course because it's no longer a group body like we getting active out here but yeah, there's more videos to come. Um, I'm probably going to start vlogging more. Not with just the workouts or just stuff I do outside the workouts. Possibly what I eat or what I do when I wake up. Like my morning routine. Just things like that. Because I know some people out there want to be like, Dang, like, what, what, what does he do besides working out? Like, what are the steps before that? What is he eating, drinking? The main thing I do is chocolate milk and butter popcorn. <laughs> nah, that's just an insider. Only a couple of people know that. But... I'll get back to, to y'all. Enjoy the video and eat your spaghetti. Oh.